We have a real special treat for the Stocks Poker SNG junkies. We've recently had some member feedback on more low stakes buy ins. And Duderino AB posted an awesome member video of himself for tabling the 10 or 15 games. And I decided to outdo him by for tabling the $6 games. So check this out. And what we have is in the top tables, we've got high buying, uh, high, high blinds going on. And when these got the high blinds, I started two new games in the bottom, which are on during low blinds. And that is something that I do when I'm playing my normal stakes, uh, any stakes really. And the reason I do it is because the high blind decisions are where all the real money is decided. And because of that, I want to have as many tables, as much time as possible to concentrate on these more important decisions. And I don't want to have all of my most important decisions going on at once. So if I can multi-table anyway, I like to stagger it rather than start all my tables at once. Now, the main adjustment I'm going to be making during low blind play is I'm going to be playing a lot more for value and I'll bet when I think I've got good value. And I will also pretty much limp with any pocket pair from any position if it's low blinds and it's free to do so. Uh, just the minimum bet to do so. Okay, in the top left table, we have a pot of 320, and I'm looking to play a small pot here. So if he checks the turn, I'll bet the turn now, because I also have a gut shot, and I really don't think he has the ace. But basically, I'm not looking to play a big pot on the bubble with the chip leader and a weak top pair. If he had raised me, or continued on, I would be looking for the cheapest showdown possible. Now, in this situation, we have a min raiser from Caballero, and it's tough to say exactly what that means. Different guys, the min raise would mean different things. I'm going to give that one a lay down because I haven't seen a min raise before, and that would be a borderline resteal. Couldn't go too wrong either way there. In the Low blind tables, basically, any time I've got a hand, I'm going to keep on betting for value. And when I don't have a hand, I'm not going to try to bluff guys out. I'm just going to try to play a very straightforward game.